here in the i button and in the description box below you will get complete playlist of Fourier integral welcome to video number 5 and in this video we are going to solve fourth and very 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 important problem on the topic that is Fourier integral so before I start this video I would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of Fourier integral with your friends okay yes so let us start solving this very important problem the question says express the function f of x okay this f of x is sin x when the value of x is from 0 to pi and f of x becomes 0 when the value of x is more than pi okay so when the limit of x is from 0 to pi in that case function f of x is sin x but when the value of x is more than pi in that case f of x is 0 okay we need to find we need to express this function as a Fourier sine integral okay this part is asked in the problem and after expressing we need to show that this that is integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x into sin lambda pi upon 1 minus lambda square d lambda equals to pi upon 2 sin x when the value of x ranges from 0 to pi okay we need to prove this part also after finding the Fourier sine integral of this function okay okay so since in the problem it is directly asked that is find the Fourier sine integral so without checking whether the function is even function or function we are directly going to apply this formula that is the Fourier sine integral for function f of x is 2 upon pi 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity okay sine lambda x integration 0 to infinity f of t sine lambda t dt d lambda okay now what is f of t here we have f of x okay that is sine x when the limit is from 0 to pi and when the value of x is from pi to infinity in that case function becomes 0 okay since the function only exists okay when the limit is from 0 to pi so we will take only this part okay that is 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x integration 0 to pi okay instead of writing 0 to infinity because in that case we have two limits that is 0 to pi and pi to infinity but when the limit is from 0 to pi function exists and when when the uh, limit is from pi to infinity in that case function becomes 0 okay so we are, we are taking this part only okay so 0 to pi okay here we have f of t but here we have f of x so changing the variable that is sin x will become sin t okay sin t into sin lambda t dt d lambda now here we have sin t sin lambda t so we are going to use this formula okay that is 2 sin a sin b and that becomes cos a minus b minus cos a plus b okay you must be aware of this formula very 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 important formula okay 2 sin a sin b will become cos a minus b minus cos a plus b okay very important formula for that we need to multiply 2 and divide 2 okay because of this 2 we need to multiply and divide with 2 so this 2 upon pi is as it is integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x half integration 0 to infinity so it's 0 to uh, pi 2 into sin lambda t sin t t t t lambda now we are going to apply this formula here okay in the next step yes so 2 this 2 okay and 2 will get cancelled we are left with 1 upon pi integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x this is as it is now coming to this part okay we know that 2 sin a sin b will become cos a minus b minus cos a plus b what is a that is lambda t and what is b that is t okay yes so this is going to be cos a minus b that is cos lambda minus 1 into t minus cos a plus b that is cos lambda plus 1 into t okay dt d lambda now 1 upon pi integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x as it is if you integrate this part okay yes cos integration of cos will become sin so sin lambda minus 1 into t upon coefficient of t that is lambda minus 1 okay now minus again integration of this part that is sin lambda plus 1 into t upon coefficient of t that is lambda plus 1 okay the limit is from 0 to pi okay 0 to pi and don't forget to write this dt uh, sorry d lambda here okay now simply proceed okay yes 1 upon pi is as it is integration 0 to infinity this lamb, sin lambda x is as it is okay now if you put upper limit here this will become sin lambda pi minus pi okay if you put 
upper limit as pi this will become sin lambda pi minus pi upon lambda minus 1 if you put lower limit sin 0 will become 0 so I'm not writing that part okay now coming to second term simply put pi in terms of t uh, in place of t this will become sin lambda pi okay plus pi upon lambda plus 1 okay don't forget to write this d lambda here okay now again yes 1 upon pi is as it is integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x now if you take uh, negative here okay simply change the position okay if you take negative here this will become positive and this will become negative and we know that sine of minus theta is what sine of minus theta is minus sine theta so if you take negative this will become negative of sine pi minus lambda pi okay upon lambda minus 1 now here no need to change okay simply change the position because both the terms are positive so this negative is as it is sine pi plus lambda pi okay pi plus lambda pi upon lambda plus 1 yes here we have d lambda okay now coming to next step that is 1 upon pi integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x okay since we know that sin of pi minus lambda pi okay since sin of pi minus lambda pi equals to sin of lambda pi okay this negative as it is sin of sin of pi minus lambda pi is how much sin of lambda pi okay upon lambda minus 1 plus okay here we have negative sign but since we know that sine of uh, pi plus lambda pi okay if you want to find sine of pi plus lambda pi it is minus of minus of sine lambda pi okay so negative negative will become positive sine lambda pi upon lambda plus 1 d lambda okay now if you if you can see okay that is 1 upon pi is as it is integration 0 to infinity okay lambda sine lambda x okay here we can take common that is uh, sine lambda pi okay if you take common this will become negative and this will become positive okay so if you take sine lambda pi common here we have 1 upon 1 lambda plus 1 here we have minus of 1 upon lambda minus 1 and here we have d lambda now if you take lcm okay if you take lcm this will become lambda square minus 1 okay here we have we have lambda minus 1 if you take this here with negative sign this will become minus lambda minus 1 okay again you can see lambda lambda gets cancelled we have minus 2 upon lambda square minus 1 okay this is what written here that is f of x equals to 1 upon pi integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x sin lambda pi minus 2 upon lambda square minus 1 d lambda okay if you want then you can simply change the position if you take negative here okay if you take negative here this will become 2 upon okay 1 minus lambda square okay so in place of this we can also write 2 upon 1 minus lambda square okay both are my answer okay but after this is this is what this is the first part of my question okay that is first part okay express the function f of x in as a Fourier sine integral okay and this is the solution of that part okay this is the solution of that part but after that one more thing is asked okay that is show that this equals to pi by 10 to sin x okay when the limit of x is from 0 to pi okay it means we need to find this part only okay so we can take this two here okay here you can see if you take this two here okay if you take this two here this will become 2 upon pi okay now take this here so that this will become pi by 2 into f of x okay so finally we can say integration is equal to infinity sin lambda x into sin lambda pi upon 1 minus lambda square d lambda equals to pi by 2 into f of x and what is f of x f of x is the problem it is given that is f of x is sin x when the limit of x is from 0 to pi and f of x is 0 when the value of x is more than pi okay so simply multiply f of x with the function so this will become pi by 2 into sin x when the value of x is from 0 to pi okay and this f of x is 0 okay f of x is 0 when uh, x is more than pi so if you multiply pi by 2 with 0 this will again become 0 when the value of x is more than pi okay so what was important in this problem okay here you can see we have finally proved this part that is integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x into sin lambda pi upon 1 minus lambda square d lambda equals to pi by 2 sin x when the value of x is from 0 to pi okay and this becomes 0 when the value of x is more than pi okay and this was the second part as you can see okay as you can see from the problem
this part is equals to pi by 2 sin x when the value of x is from 0 to pi. So finally we have proved this part. Okay. Yes. If you have learned something from this video then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of uh, further integral with your friends. Thank you. Thank you so much.